morning. Oh, I slept really well, but I didn't sleep very long. But I need to, like, start getting up and get ready because it's, like, 7. They're going to hopefully start working on my van at 9. I pray so that I can leave today. Um... Yeah, anyways, it rained last night. It's raining right now. Let's see. Let's see how much water is in the bucket. Not that much. Just a couple of inches. That's good. There was one point I woke up, it was raining really, really hard, and I thought, oh, I should check how much rain is in the bucket, but... Not very much. So I was thinking, ah, forgot I have my alarm set. Um, oh my gosh, kid, okay, we have no light in here. It's either not enough or too much. Um, I was maybe gonna go see if I could shower at the truck stop, but I think hopefully the van will be done today. So I'm actually not going to, which like, eh, I probably should, but. I'm going to throw some makeup on. I'm just putting my hair in this ponytail. I'm going to clean myself up in the way that I do in the van. And then um, I'm going to change my clothes. And hopefully by then it'll be about time for... It's 7.30 now. So I've still got a little bit of time. But yeah, then I'll just take my book and go read until they're done working on the van. That's the plan. I think I'm gonna head up to the cafe even though they don't open until 9 but I'm just gonna leave my keys on the driver's seat and I think they'll be able to find them um because I'm just hungry and I don't think I don't think I need to wait around they know which vehicle is mine um and I'm just dying for coffee and food so So yeah, we've got the keys on the seat. I'm just going to leave the doors unlocked. Um, this place seems like a fine place to leave all of my possessions. So um, we're just going to go ahead and do that. So I keep forgetting that I lost some of my footage from the truck stop. But basically, it's just right there. So it's really not far. I mean, there's one here and then there's one further away. Um, and that's the one with the cafe and they were so nice to me yesterday they let me sit there literally like all day and then uh, I had left to go check on the van and when I came back I ordered a coffee because I didn't want to just sit there and not buy anything and the lady refused to let me pay for it because I'd been there all day the day before and they were just so nice so going back again today also the mechanic told me last night that he has to go to a car auction this morning but he's gonna try and have one of the other guys start on my van at 9 I made the mistake because I'm awkward socially of saying something along the lines of because I'm just awkward and I feel the need to say something and so I was like, oh, it's okay, you know, I'm not in a rush, like, whatever, thinking. If you can't start right away at 9 a.m., that's okay, but, like, I shouldn't have said that. And now I'm worried he's going to think I can, like, stay another night. I mean, if I have to, I have to, but I'm like, 
I just, why do I open my mouth sometimes? So, anyways, we'll see what happens today. No idea. I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you oh, It's like, I think about noon, 11.51, they open at 9, they said they would try to start working on my van at 9 they haven't called, but I'm going to peek and see if it looks like they're working on it. Oh, I'm so bored and I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> like, I just need to leave. Feels like this is taking a really long time. <sighs> okay, good news. I don't see my van where it was parked, which means they're definitely working on it. Thank God, because I'm going stir crazy. So I'm gonna go read a little more in this truck stop, which is a different one. There's like a little seating area. It's definitely not as nice, but like, hopefully they'll just call me and I won't have to walk in on them and bug them. There she is. They finally finished. They finally finished like everything that they um, had planned to do. Then they did the ball joint. And he just took it for a test drive and noticed that one of the rear brake lights is out. So he's changing that really quick and then hopefully I'll be done. But um, I think he also had to replace the brakes, but I'll get a full workup as soon as he's done. Mm. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. I'm home. I can't wait to take a shower. I stress ate for like three days straight. I need to go to the gym. I need a nap. I gotta fix my fan. But we made it. I'm looking so ridiculously rough because my makeup is all over my face. I washed it off. It still just looks bad, but I'm in Minnesota, finally home, exhausted. And I'm finally gonna not have to carry this ladder anymore I'm so excited I can't even handle it so for now I'm just gonna put it against the house because I have to use it yeah I need I still need to use the ladder to install my fan which I'm gonna go get maybe tomorrow um, but at least I can open my doors yay and there's other stuff I'm gonna leave here as well um, stuff I'm going to take out of the back of my van that I've since figured out I don't need for full-time van living. First of all, like I mentioned in my lives, I'm going to get rid of like all this stuff. Um, I might get a hat box and keep my hats, just put them like not so they're sitting on the bed because I hate how there's just something always on the bed. But I've got like um, my diesel tank, which I need to basically get a actual diesel tank but this water jug I'm no longer using it doesn't have to be in there anymore um what else do I have I have some other stuff in here that I just kept in and it's unnecessary so it's taking up space and anything I can't put there has to be actually up in the van which I am realizing travel with the least amount of stuff humanly possible <laughs> I mean we all think we do but once you start living in your van or your RV or bus whatever it is you're gonna figure out very quickly what you actually need 
and that you don't need that you don't need so much more than you think even so I'm excited I'm gonna get I'm gonna leave my hard hat I don't think I need the hard hat most of the time it's just propped up holding up my window coverings anyways so I'm very excited I'm very excited that I came home with the van it feels so good just to sit with the van doors open I really miss I really miss it I really miss traveling in the van. Um, it's tough because I would like to do it more, but you know, right now that's just not like a big possibility. Maybe in the future if I can get more time off of work, but we all know I was trying to get off a month in August to go hang out with Jaylena and Isaac in Oregon, and I did not even come close to holding that off seniority wise. So I shall be working in August. Anyways, that is all I'm going to show you for this vlog. Thank you so much, everybody. Like, I just have to say that YouTube is a saving grace for me because I think in my vlogs, I don't show it as much as I do on Instagram or on my YouTube lives, which um, I always end up deleting after. Um, but I get really bad anxiety in a lot of stressful situations. And um, this whole, the fan mixed with the wheel bearing coming off and getting stuck for two days, having to rearrange my work schedule so I could do all this. And, you know, it was super stressful for me and going to YouTube and having a place to speak and have support and I mean, literal, like emotional, but also f like financial support is something I just never would have imagined coming out of this channel ever. Um, you know, I started this for fun and I do it still to this day for fun because I enjoy it and I'm just have full of so much gratitude and I wish I looked a little less messy while I was saying this. <laughs> I'm editing this, I'm probably going to regret that, but I just want to thank every single one of you that watches my videos, participates in my lives follows me on Instagram, sends me your love and support always and just wants to have fun and enjoy all these things with me and yeah, you guys make this all doable and you help me feel like I'm capable of anything and there are no words to tell you how grateful I truly am for that. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video.